Hello and welcome to another technical takedown the hard way. In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about Goliath. Goliath. Yes, we're going to call it lenses. We're going to talk about what lenses we plan to take with us on this journey, you know, and how it's going to affect the way we are going to um, uh, document this, this rather epic adventure that we plan to have on the African continent. So, I know what you, some of you guys are probably thinking already, what the hell has it got? You know, this is an overlanding channel. What's this got to do with, with lenses? Lenses for cameras. You, you mean lenses for cameras? Yes, we mean lenses for cameras and I didn't realize how important this was and I knew that there was a fear of diving into this realm of photography and videography and cinematography and whatever ographies are out there that I could get confused I could get further burdened with even more work you know whilst we're on this overlanding adventure and that's that's the last thing we want right we, we want to go overlanding. We want to explore. We want to uh, be a part of the journey and not just people behind the camera experiencing this journey from behind uh, the lens of some digital apparatus. So I, I could totally understand this. You, you, there's something you need to understand. Documenting the journey is incredibly important to us for a number of reasons. Before I get into the reasons, I'm going to do something that I have never told you to do on this channel before, and that is to ask you to please subscribe. Please like if you like, if you follow, if you watch the video to the end, and if you like it, please like it. But I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this, because if you are planning to do something similar, or if you want to be inspired to do something similar to what we are planning to do, we're giving out all the information and it's all free, baby. So please go ahead, hit the subscribe button. That would be well appreciated. Thank you very much. Okay, so I want to get into the nitty gritty of it, right? Because I'm gonna tell you now, I know precious little about lenses. I know a little bit now about how they work. Knowing how these lenses work and looking at certain hardware certain bits of hardware that we are planning to take with us on this journey you know it's it's now changed our dynamic okay let, let me give you a for instance we bought this new sony camera it's a sony a7c it's a beautiful camera it's actually does oh i'm actually i'm going to make a video about it at some other point okay but it's a very good camera um we bought this camera and I'm going to be honest with you. I was happy with the camera that I'm using right here. This Canon EOS 70D. It's not the top of the range camera, but we didn't need anything crazy. You know, we were going to document the journey and, you know, I wasn't planning on doing anything crazy with it. And then I started thinking, you're going to go on this massive journey, this incredible adventure. Uh, this is something that your nephew, you know, your nephews, your nieces, your uncles, your, this is something about when you're a grandfather, you're going to sit down with your grandkids and you're going to sit down with them. You're going to explain to them what you did on the African continent, you know, yeah, back in the days, you know, we didn't have spacecraft. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't even know where I'm going. I'm going to need to cut that out. Silly joke. So, uh, I want to be able to show people what we did in a way in which... It is different. That's the type of person who I am in general. I'm the type of person that likes to do things that not that, that is not being done by many other people. And of course, I've chose overlanding to explore the African continent because we will be able to see the African continent from a unique perspective, from a very unique perspective, a perspective that not a lot of people have ever done. In saying that, we need to have a way of filming this, which is going to be different than everybody else's. Another reason why it's important is because we are trying to use a lot of the YouTube money to actually bring us, push us on our way. And in order for us to, to capitalize on YouTube money, we're gonna need, 
you know, uh, we're going to need a, a reasonable amount of money. We have multiple sources of income, but of course, we want to grow the channel substantially. It's important for us to grow the channel so we can get our story to more people out there and show people that the African continent, you know, isn't just, you know, West Africa isn't just a big mud pit that you can't get through, that it's actually a nice part of the world with functioning roads and infrastructure and people living there happy you know in their lives uh, we want to be able to show you people this the way we we do this and the way we document this and the way we um are able to tell people hey listen this is africa tia this is africa we don't want to come back here and tell people oh it's 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 safe it's safe over there and the west was doing this that and the other we want to be able to come back here and people already know wow okay you could do it you did it uh, it was safe enough. We did the research, you know, that's all you need to do. Do the research. Uh, there are plenty of communities online. Everyone else can do it if we can do it, you know, and we're not exactly overland professionals, are we? So this gives us an opportunity to teach people about what we want to do. And I don't think that there is any other better way to do this than to make YouTube uh, videos videos that are freely available to everyone on specific subjects we are going to do both uh, the two channels that you that are you that you are watching right now okay overland fam and the hard way the hard way is going to be um talking about the more practical side technical side you know off the journey and the overland fam will be more biased towards stories so that's what we plan to do we plan to tell stories in each and every one of our Overland Fam videos. I don't think that there is a better way of telling stories than to look at cinematography. I know this was a very long sedge way, but I need to explain to you why we came to the decision now to focus on the types of lenses that we are going to be using. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, we are going to be bringing our Sony AC7, which is a full frame camera. We wanted to show the videos on a screen in a format which not a lot of other people are using. I know it's more difficult, I know it's a little bit more technically challenging, but it's something that we can do, that me and my wife can do if we're working together. So the way I thought of doing it was by filming everything. Guys, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I'm committing to it. Okay, the way we're going to do this is we are going to be filming everything we do on the Overland Fam channel in anamorphic not totally in anamorphic but mainly in anamorphic okay now what is anamorphic oh here we go okay so anamorphic is a type of lens i'm not going to get too technical into it but essentially it's a widescreen lens right it's a widescreen lens that gives different types of characteristics on the screen that you would generally only see at, at the movies or at the cinema at the cinema you know it's a proper cinema t t uh, cinema graphic lens which gives really unique style of of filming I, I and i didn't want to get into the technicalities of this i, I really wanted to keep things simple in this video to let you know that we are going to have a, a unique style of uh, filming and not storytelling but definitely filming okay and we are going to enjoy every part of this i'm really looking forward to this so how is it going to differ than your normal youtuber okay the way it's going to differ is is that we are now going to focus on stories and those stories are going to have elements inside there that you will perhaps notice if you are a cinematographer or videographer. The lens that we are going to use, this, this widescreen lens, is going to give image, the video, a, a different look. So it's go, you're going to see wider aspects uh, on your actual screen. So the top on the bottom half of your screen is actually going to be black, okay? Um, and this is, and that is unless you have a proper wide, wide screen TV. If you have a proper wide, wide screen TV, then 
it, then you might not see that. Now, why did we choose this? I told you, I just needed something different. We wanted to do something different. We wanted to tell our story in a way which when we get back, we're gonna be able to tell people, this is what we did. We wanna start off somewhere and, sat and tell people, hey, we, we, we chose to go the hard road. I think driving around Africa is is hard as it is. And we got to realize that. Um, another thing you need to realize is that it's not easy. It isn't easy. Um, I, and I know this. Uh, my camera keeps auto-focusing. I don't know what the bloody hell's wrong with this. You see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. The autofocus on this camera is not brilliant, actually. This Canon EOS 70D. It keeps zooming in on my face and then coming back out of it. Actually, I'm gonna try and bring the light a little closer and see if that helps. No, it's not helping. Oh well, we're gonna keep on going. So anyway, you might get tons of B-roll now because I'm not sure if my, fo my face is fully focused or, or sharp. So I'm sorry guys, if you get that. So anyway, so that is what we're going to get. An anamorphic lens. Anamorphic lenses start from 1200 euros. Yes, I did just say that, 1200 euros. It goes completely against our ethics, really, on using the tons of equipment that we have here already, all the cameras, all the lights, and everything else that we could bring with us, the condenser mics, all the laptops, all the software. It goes completely against that. I know it does. Oh well, it's one of those things. There's nothing we can do about that. We know what we want. We know we're going to do this. We know it's going to take time. I know that I I know how to edit a YouTube video in a couple of days. Um, this is going to be substantially tougher. Um, I'm going to be using new software. I really need to start getting to work to make sure that I'm in a position that once we hit the road, I will know exactly how to make a decent video for you guys that will last the ages. So guys, when is this going to start? It's going to start, I would say, about three months before we are supposed to go. So I'm going to start in, in uh, early August, which means we have to try and source a anamorphic lens before early August so that that's where we are at now once we start that then we're going in and you are going to be able to get some really beautiful videos on overland fam the hard way is going to continue doing we're going to continue doing what we're what we are doing now and you know part of the reason why I make these overland videos the ones that I make on the hard way the way that you know, I'm doing it now, you know, one take wonders, is because it enables me to edit the video within a few hours, you know, and then just move on with my day. So I, I, I am with the Overland Fam channel. Yes, I am increasing my workload, but I'm going to have a reasonable amount of work, you know, not, not too difficult, not crazy on this particular channel, on the hard way. So this is a good thing. We're going to continue that way because something needs to give if we are putting this much into Overland Fan. Okay, guys, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to make another video after this, actually, that's going to talk a little bit more about the cameras that we're using. I've already made a video about the cameras, but I want to make another one because I wasn't able to make one before because I hadn't used them yet. So yeah, I'm going to do that right now. So I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.